Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to set the cutter on the lathe. Where is the cutter? We didn't really talk about it when we were talking about the different parts of the lathe. The cutter is right here. It's called the tool bit. It's in what's called the tool post. The tool post swivels like this, allowing you to set the cutter in whatever desired position you need. The very tip of the cutter right here is called the nose. It's extremely sharp. That's where all the cutting has to be done is on the nose. So if you have the cutter set up incorrectly, you're not going to get a good cut or a nice finish on your workpiece. So to set the cutter up, what we need to do is we need to first of all set the cutter at center height. And to set the cutter at center height, you're going to use the tailstock with the tailstock, uh, uh, sorry, the live center loaded in the tailstock because the very point of this right here is directly in the center of the spindle. So we use this point here to line up the point of our cutter. So what we do is you're going to loosen off the cutter and you're going to bring it in. The cutter rolls up and down. I hope you can see this in the video. It goes up and down, up and down by rolling on a half moon shaped piece that's down underneath here. We want to set the cutter nose directly at center first. Okay? When we set the cutter directly at center, you need to get right in there and have a really good look at it. Make sure you're right there. And then you're going to slightly tighten it down at the top like this just by hand. Okay? So now I've got the cutter set at center. I can take the tail stock out of the way. But now what I need to do is you can see, this is my workpiece here. If you can see, if I went to cut my workpiece right now, it's not going to cut at all. It's going to hit on the back side of the, the tool post. It needs to cut on this nose. So I need to move the cutter in towards the work like this to get an angle on the back side of the cutter to the workpiece of 8 to 12 degrees, but it doesn't really matter if it's 15, 20, 30 degrees, whatever it is, as long as you have clearance on the back side of your cutter. So you can see how much I've moved this since we started working here. So now I have clearance on the back side of my cutter as I go to cut the end of my workpiece here. Okay? Now if I was going to cut this side here of my piece, now I don't have so much clearance on the back side, so I need to move the cutter again like this to get the proper amount of clearance on the back side of the workpiece if I was cutting this here as opposed to cutting the end of the workpiece. Okay? Once you get the cutter in place like this and you have the proper clearance behind it and you have it set at center, you're going to tighten it down with the little wrench that sits on top. You have to be careful because if you get banging around on it right now, it's going to set it, it's going to change the location of it, okay? So you don't want to, you don't want to bang it around at all. You want to make sure you're being very gentle right now. So I'm going to put the wrench on the top. I'm going to back it a little so you can see. There's a little wrench that goes on the top. It's a square wrench here that goes on this thing here. You can, on the tool post, you're going to tighten it up like so. And you're going to make sure you really tighten this down really good because you do not want this moving as you're machining. This needs to be really tight. So you need to really make sure this is really, really tight. Okay? Uh, just a real quick on the end of this uh, video here, I'm just going to talk to you about chucking your workpiece. We talked about this for um, in our safety, but we talked about the chuck key here. It goes into this hole right here. And what you do is you loosen it off like so, and you can move your workpiece in and out of the chuck. Now, you never want your workpiece sticking out like this if you're going to be working on the end of it like so. You do not want it sticking way out like this. This is sticking out way too much. You really only want it sticking out of the out of the chuck by about a thumb's length. So you want it sticking in there like that. And then when you tighten this up, you want to make sure you give this a good crank, folks. Like you gotta make sure it's tight. Okay? Really tight. And then you put your tool back and now our cutter's set and our workpiece is set. So that's the second thing we need to do. We learned how to use the, the headstock and the tailstock to set the speeds and get everything ready with the handles. Now we've set our cutter, our workpiece is set, our speeds are set, now it's time to do some machining.